my name is Melissa Ann, and today I'm going to be sharing how to make smelling jars or smelling bottles at home with things that you may already have in your house. Um, the reason why I wanted to share this with you was that my daughter saw me smelling candles. Um, I love candles. And she saw me smelling candles, and so uh, one day she wanted to smell with me. And so I let her have a whiff of you know, a couple of those candles that I had, and I thought, well, why don't I make smelling jars for her since it seems to be something that she's interested in. So I thought to create these smelling jars, and these are actually spice jars uh, that are recycled and also um, uh, different essential oils. And then I have cotton balls to go along with them. So just the three different things. Um, and so today it's uh, just gonna show you how to um, create these. So what I'm, what I'm doing is just taking four to five drops and placing them right on the cotton ball. And if you have a hard time remembering the different scents that you do have that you've put on there or essential oils, you can always put a little piece of paper and tape it to the bottom of your smelling jar. And my daughter really loves this one. I actually change this out now that we're at home for uh, every every other week, so she has a new one to a new uh, scent to try and smell. And I also tell her what she's smelling as I'm introducing the different scents. So if I am giving a lesson, I'll say. Um, let's try this one and uh, this is lemon. I tell her that she's she's smelling lemon. Let's smell lemon. And she loves it. This is one of her favorites that she loves choosing every single day and I do keep it fresh um, by changing it up every other week. So something new. Other things that you can do are if you're going on a nature hunt or a nature walk, you can go outside and find different things like uh, maybe you can get some pine cone or um, if you wanted to get uh, fresh cut grass or if you wanted to pull flowers, um, pick up flowers, anything to, to let them smell different things at home um, and in the jar. And they can actually see right through the, through the jar as well. Um, but with the cotton balls, that's why it might be easier for parents if you have a hard time with your different scents. Um, you can, uh, sense of smell, you can um, label them at the bottom. So I hope that you enjoy this. You can put this right on a tray or a basket for your, your children. And they can also, if you wanted to, you can even make two of each so they can match them. Um, but because my daughter is really young, um, she's not ready to match it. She's not, it's not um, age appropriate yet for her to match. Um, so I just created um, one for each scent and that way I can introduce the different scents with the name of what she's smelling. So thanks for joining me today and I hope to see you again.